Hi everyone and welcome back to the Lambda series. In this video, I'm going to continue with the Lambda function that I wrote in the previous video and I'm going to show you how you can connect it up to API Gateway. Now there are two ways of doing this and I'm going to show both in this video. Okay, so here I am at the AWS console and the first way you can connect your Lambda function to API Gateway is through the Lambda console. So I'm gonna go to Lambda uh, here and I'm gonna open up my function and in the tab triggers, you can actually create or add a new trigger. So I'm gonna add a trigger here and I'm gonna choose API Gateway and I'm gonna give my API a name. Uh, now you can also pick other uh, APIs that you, that you might have had in the, in the past. So I'm going to give my API a name. I'm going to call it random generator, maybe just that. I'm going to give my resource a name. So we're just going to call this number and we're going to specify the get method, which is fine. The deployment stage, so you can have production deployments, you can have staging, you can have other stuff here. And as security, uh, we're going to pick open because we want this API to be available to anyone. Anyone will be able to invoke this API. You don't need an access key or you don't need an IM user uh, in AWS. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to click submit. And there you have it. That's the first way to create our API. So here we can see that the, the API has been created with this idea, this URL in the production environment and with the get method. So if I now click this URL and open it in a new tab, boom, there you have it. Our random number generator now has a web front end. We can see here there's eight, and if I refresh, there's one, refresh again, three, zero, six, and so on and so on and so on. So that's the first way of connecting up your Lambda function with API Gateway. Now for the second way, we're going back to the AWS console and this time we're going to use API Gateway's console instead of Lambda's com console. So I'm going to go to API Gateway here and you can see uh, here I have two APIs already created. So I'm going to create a new API for this one and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say uh, random generator 2 or something like that. I'm not going to give it a description. Click create API. and here we can configure our resources uh, as well as our stages, our authorizers, or models. So I'm going to create uh, a new resource and I'm going to call my resource number because that's an, a random number. I'm going to click create resource and I'm going to create a new method for this resource and we're, we want to add the get method just as in the previous uh, way. Click OK. And now we can choose the integration type. So we can either proxy this request to a different web server somewhere, we can mock the integration, or we can connect it up to Lambda. So that's what we want to do. We want to connect it up to Lambda. We're going to pick our region. Ours, in, ours is an EU West 1. And we're going to type in the name of the function. Normally, when you type in some something, it auto-completes you. So there you have it, random number generator. And we're going to click Save. And API Gateway now asks us if it's okay to add permissions to um, invoke this Lambda function. So obviously that's okay. Uh, we're gonna click okay. And there you go, the request has been created. You can see the overview of the request. Here uh, the request starts with the client making a request. This becomes a method request. You can then integrate this request. You can transform some of the input data. We'll look into this in a future video. Then it hits our Lambda function. Our Lambda function returns something. It goes to the integration response, goes back to the method response, and then goes back to the client. So this should be it. We've hooked it up. We can now go to Actions and click Deploy API. We're going to create a new stage for this. We're going to call it, yep, yeah, prod is fine for me, the production environment. We're not going to give a description, not going to give a deploy description. We're just going to hit deploy here. And API Gateway gives us another API, uh, another URL for our API. And if I open this up, uh, I can see, whoops, that's not the full URL. So let me go in here into prod. Let's go to number, get. And this is the get URL for generating a round number. If I click on it, Boom, I get the same result as I got before, but this time we hooked it up through the API Gateway console. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to look into expanding our random number generator API and allow people to define their own minimum and maximum number.
I hope you find this topic interesting and if you do make sure to subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter.